Hey, I just wanted to come to you today um, to share something that I do for myself most days, and that is read cards for myself. Um, I've got many decks. Um, this is who's calling me today. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys hang out with me. and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I read cards, <clears throat> what that looks like for me. Um, so I know a lot of people are... Um, are afraid of cards. Um, not everybody, but a lot of people are. I come from church, Catholic church background, and um, oh my God, ever when I started to talk to people about me using cards, people would look at me like I was crazy. But um, basically what the cards do for me are they give me information about um, what I'm needing next. And you know, it's really hard to hear from God or from spirit every day. So what I just try to do is I let the cards help me. Um, just like I could let, um, um, just see um, a song help me um, so um, first one we get is um, great teacher learn from spiritual experience um, I'm gonna draw three maybe four we'll see what comes up today normally I like to draw three but four has been coming up lately just because um, there's it's things are really dense right now so okay second one the hunter track down your fears and desires okay second one um, and maybe somebody out there needs to hear some of this today too. Um, but this is just what my spirit's calling me to, um, to, um, reach out for today. And basically the information that'll come through in the chart cards, I just always trust that it's correct. And they always are. The cards don't lie. The cards, as long as your intention is, um, is not of anything that's, um, you know, not of God or not of spirit, then how the heck is something not of spirit going to come out of you? So don't trip. Don't be afraid of the cards. Um, they're just information. And um, there's another one. Let's see. Seer. See beyond the current situation. Um, and actually, we're going to go four. Okay. One more. Okay. And there's the last one. Okay. Be graceful in movement and action. Um, Shaolin master. Okay. So let's read these. <clears throat> so I set the intention that whatever's gained from the lesson learned from this tool, we will be, it will be dedicated to the growth of all beings in all places. And that's just something that's printed on here. So, um, again, it's, um, for me just to make sure, um, my intentions are set correctly. And yeah, so we're gonna go to the great teacher first. Um, and, um, we're, how we're able to get information with this is, um, is, um, it will just tell you what you need to know right now. So let's hit, here we go. Um, so the great teacher learned from spiritual experience. Know that what is happening um, around you is divinely inspired. Learn that what your current, learn from your current experiences and share them with others. And about this card, it was inspired by Jesus, the one who was most widely and acknowledged and loved spiritual teachers of all time. But there is a great teacher in every tradition and this card represents that there is one to whom you feel the closest, as well as the great teacher within. The teacher wears simple clothes here to demonstrate that even you live a simple life, it can be an incredibly spiritual one. He is surrounded by a scene of serenity and harmony because he has absolute trust in the higher power that moves through him. And the dove on the card represents receiving answers to prayers through signs and experiencing peace through joy. So... Um, the extended message really in this is that the card can represent um, a teacher in your life or the great teacher within. Either way, it shows that you have dedicated a lot of time, effort, and energy to understanding yourself in the world, and you are having a spiritual experience at this time, gaining a greater awareness of what it is that you need to do in order to grow. And there's a chance that if you have been having challenges recently, you've, um, you've uh, surmounted them and allowed them to be vehicles to lessons that are helping you in your spiritual connection. So if you feel that you've received messages from heaven or the universe recently, this card just confirms that you've been, they've indeed been holy experiences. So that's the first one. Um, okay. And, um, I think that the second one was the hunter. I'd like to try to do them in order. Um, because it seems like that's always important. Okay. So the hunter. Right here, um, the hunter. Okay, so track down all of your fearful thoughts and feelings when you find them and find, you will find your desires too. The hunter card is based on your favorite Celtic god, Serunos. He is the stag god and the wild represents both the hunted and the hunter. Similarly, the hunter helps you connect with the energy that is both fearful and fearless. 
Your fears are only things that are standing between you and your desire at this time. So you have come to face them with the hunter does with wild animals and goes beyond them. So the extended message for this card is instead of being hunted down by your fears or other feelings that you have buried, become the hunter. You are being given confidence and strength at this time. So use your power to make a difference. You are not here to cower away or live in the shadows. You are here to realize your fullest potential. But this can only occur when you step up and do what needs to be done. So when this card arises, there can be an opportunity to face one aspect of your past or bring up a closure to a situation that's been haunting you. So if you are a man or identify as male, this card represents mas your masculinity or an opportunity to know yourself deeply. Or if you're a female, this card represents the capacity to be strong and powerful and overcome limitations. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, so the next one is um, the seer. Okay, and that is this one right here. So see beyond the current situation. Um, look beyond your current situation, raise your vibrations, vibration and focus on love. Um, as most indigenous peoples have a seer in the family or a tribe, seers are intelligent and intuitive beings who serve as direct channels for information on what's occurring now and what's about to unfold. Their energy is about predicting your future for you, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let the clairvoyance within you rise up so that you can see your way to forge yourself with spiritual eyes. The extended message is that clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly through and create your best future. So you are being um, encouraged by your ancestral guides to, and angels to see beyond and think beyond what is happening now. Don't allow your ego, yourself, as stuck or lost. Know that you're an energy, you're energetic holding space with the universe recalibrates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so that your experiences can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. Okay. I'm down. I'm down. Here we go. We're manifesting this. Okay. So the last one is a shell in master. Be graceful in movement and action. So slow and steady, breathe and flow. Take a gentler approach. Oh God, I know I'm a spaz. I need to soften up. The Shaolin master calls forth the ninja within. This medicine is about learning to adapt in a situation and tap to the energy running through your body and preserve it in order to release it at the right movement. It also teaches subtlety because when you are too forceful, you use too much energy and you may not be supportive in what you are working on. So this, like a monk, has respect for all things. He's disciplined and guided by art and will never use it to impress the foolish or to appear stronger than someone who is threatening him. You too are being invited to remain graceful in your movement, choices, and actions. So the extended message is that you're being guided to flow like water, blow like air and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel like you need to rush ahead, Andrea. I know, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. A gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. Lord knows I'm not harsh. What do you guys think? You guys think I'm harsh? I don't think I'm harsh or forceful or come with the punch, not me. <laughs> Move with subtlety and grace. Reach high, but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it. <laughs> Do you have the capacity to refocus on your gaze at this time? Can you slow down? I don't know, can I? Can you take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward? All of this will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. So, okay, so those were my messages for today. Um, I hope you guys kind of see why I like to just read cards because they help me focus on what I need to focus on and um, just uh, get some gentle advice from my spirits, um, guides and angels and just um, kind of how I reach in. So this is just another tool that I use to connect with God every day and just to kind of get guidance on, um, on this journey. So I hope you guys have a great day. I love you all. Bye.